Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, we're going to be using the So Hoppy For You celebration set to create this super cute pocket card that will fit into a regular sized envelope. So we're using the Tall Standing Frog and then we are using a sentiment from the Incredible Like You stamp set and Glimmer Dot. We've got a little heart and we've got some fun ribbon. So let me get my supplies and we'll get started. All right. I have a piece of crumb cake cardstock here that measures seven and a half by six and a half. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that's just a little over three inches, like three and an eighth inches by five and a quarter. A two by two and a half piece of Whisper White. And then a piece of Coastal Cabana that's two and three eighths by two and five eighths. And then I have a strip of our brand new foil sheets from Celebration. This is a lovely lipstick. It's five and a half by one. And it also comes with the Grapefruit Grove. And look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so amazing. Woo! Cool, isn't it? And then the lovely lipstick. So these are amazing. You get four sheets of each in the package and they're free with a $50 order. Okay, so you're going to take your uh, seven and a half by six and a half piece of cardstock. We've got the seven and a half inch piece at the top of the trimmer and we're going to score that at four and a quarter inches. Okay. All right. Then we're going to tr turn the paper and we're going to line it up at a half inch. And we're going to cut from that score line we just made. We're going to cut straight down. Make sure I get all this right. And I'm using this side of my ruler. When I'm using small measurements like a quarter, half, three quarters, one, one and a quarter, I just find it sometimes, easy, sometimes easier just to use this side of my trimmer. So here is my mark here. That's at about three and a quarter inches. And we're just going to cut straight down. All right, we're going to flip that over. We're going to line that up at the half inch mark again. And we're going to do the same thing, three and a quarter, three and a, yeah, three and a quarter, and cut straight down. And so that's what we have. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors now, and we're going to trim these little pieces off. And I'm actually going to trim them off at a slight angle. You can see how I trim that off at a slight angle. I just find that uh, when I'm folding things, if I have a tiny bit of an angle on things, it's going to fold together a little bit better. And then I'm also going to angle this off just a hair as well. Okay. Next, we're going to fold this over. We're going to use our bone folder to get a nice crisp crease. And then I'm also going to use my bone folder again, and I'm just going to run my bone folder along the edge of the cardstock here so that I'm actually creating a score line on this little flap. Okay. And then I'm going to flip that up and I'm going to burnish that down. Bring this over, make sure it's nice and flat, and I'm just going to do that again. Okay, and then we're just going to bring that up, fold it over, use your bone folder again to get a nice crisp crease. So now what we've done is we've just created a fun little pocket right here, okay? Pretty simple. Our little insert, whoops, I got a dimensional backing on there, is going to slide in here like this, and we're going to be able to pull it out, so we're going to go ahead and uh, fix this up. So I've got another strip of our lovely lipstick foil sheet. I've got a scrap of granny apple green and a one inch circle punch. So I'm just going to give myself a circle punch there. Then I'm also going to take my one inch punch and I'm just going to line it up somewhere near the bottom and just give myself about a half of a punch. Okay. And then I'm going to slide my little card in there. About like so. I'm going to add a Stampin' Dimensional right here at the edge. I'm going to peel that off. Where did my circle go? Oh. And then I'm just going to place my circle just over that piece there. Now I've also got a three quarter inch circle and I'm going to give myself a little punch out of, add a little adhesive here and we'll just center that on the circle. Since I'm using liquid glue, I can kind of mess around with that a little bit and get it to be where I want it. And I'm going to bring in my glitter enamel dots here. And I'm just going to pick one up. And I'm just going to place it right in the center as well as I can of that. 
So then we have this piece pretty much done. We do need to add a sentiment on here. So I've got the stamp set from the Occasions catalog, and I'm going to use the So Glad We Are Friends image. And I'm going to ink that up in lovely lipstick. And then I'm going to bring in my foam pad here. Get that inked up. And then we're just going to center that. Get that pressed into place. All right. And then I've got another little image from the stamp set, this little trio of dots here, which is super cute. And I'm going to use some Coastal Cabana ink on this. And I'm just going to add a little set of dots right here and right there. So now my little insert piece is done. Okay, move our dots out of the way. All right, so now I can work on this little piece here. And so I'm going to bring in this super cute So Hoppy Together stamp set. This is another celebration item that you can choose for free with a $50 order from my store at shoppingwithbarb.com. And there are three adorable frogs in here. We've got a little dragonfly, a couple of, or a little trio of bees, some fun sentiments, and then a little crown if you wanted to make him any of these little frogs be a birthday frog. So we're just going to use this cute little guy that's kind of standing here with his glasses on. We're going to ink him up in Memento because I am going to do some uh, coloring with my Stampin' Blends. All right, got that done. And I also, I'm going to bring in the little sentiment that says, hey, from the set. And my lovely lipstick. And I'm just going to lightly get some ink on this. And I'm going to stamp it right up here. Just like that. Okay. So then that's gonna, the front is going to say, hey, and then we're going to open up and it's going to say, so glad we are friends. So I need to color this in. So I'm going to zoom in just a bit. And I'm going to bring in my two Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends markers and my light Smoky Slate. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of speed up the video while I color this. So here we go. I'm going to start with my light Granny Apple Green. Then I'm going to work into the dark. And then I'm going to bring in my Smoky Slate. All right, he is done. Zoom back out. And now we can layer this little guy on too. And you can see that Stampin' Blends, they do bleed through the cardstock, but that's the alcohol markers and we just can't do anything about that. So we just embrace it. Okay, we're gonna layer that. There we go. And now I'm going to bring in my Coastal Cabana Granny Apple Green Reversible Ribbon. Is that not amazing? I'm just going to snip myself off a little chunk here. And then I'm going to fold that over. Whoops, butterfingers. I'm going to fold this over and then I have both patterns showing to the front. And I'm just going to attach this right to the back. I'm going to use a piece of scotch tape to hold that in place. And I've got a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. We'll get on here, peel that off, get that ready to go. So now we can bring our little pouch back in. So I'm going to add some glue to these little flaps. And of course, they're perfectly scored because I did it myself. I, I was trying to figure out an exact science, like score it here, score it there. But it just wasn't uh, working out for me. So I discovered that just doing it myself, making my own score lines was the best. We will slide this into here like so. We're going to bring in our strip of the lovely lipstick foil. Add some adhesive to this. And I'm just going to lay it on the front here. Oh, I don't know, about uh, three eighths of an inch or so. Oops, from the edge. Mm, 
about like that. And then this little guy is going to go on like this and we are just about done. I also want to bring in our little heart epoxy droplets and these are little clear heart shapes, super cute. And I'm going to go ahead and color one of these small ones with my lovely lipstick marker here. This is my dark stamp and blend. Okay. Give that just a second to dry. I'm going to bring in my little take your pick tool and I've got my little pokey end here. I'm just going to get that moving and then I should be able to pick it up here with my putty end and I'm just going to stick that little heart right there on my little frog friend and there we have it. So it says hey on the front with a cute little heart and then it says so glad we're friends. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to earn some free items during celebration, you can place your orders with me at shoppingwithbarb.com. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate that. Subscribe down here in the corner and then click that little notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.